Juan, I want to start with you because we've talked a lot tonight about the bipartisan appeal of President H.W. Bush, uh, 41, and the fact that he worked across the aisle. Um, and he was somebody who was willing to work compromise to get things done. Uh, your thoughts on him tonight? Well, you know, I mean, the emotion flows out of me because I, I was a White House correspondent uh, for the, during the Reagan years. And one of my jobs was to travel around the country with George W. Bush, especially in that 84 cycle uh, when the President Reagan was up for re-election. As you've heard, they weren't particularly close, but George H.W. Bush was a great, great emissary for the Reagan administration because he had been head of the Republican National Committee. So he knew people all across the country in every state. He could tell me names of people in an unbelievable fashion. I mean, it's just incredible. Um, and we would sit together. And I remember one thing that he told me, Shannon, was that I should write notes to people. He would write notes, five and ten notes a day out of habit, just to stay in touch with people, certainly with all the prominent Republicans around the country. Uh, but he would write to friends and people. Uh, and everybody would respond to him, not as the vice president at that time, uh, but as George H.W. Bush, someone that they knew and felt a very personal connection to. When I had the chance to travel with him, to talk with him, I was so, to this day, so impressed with him among all the politicians I've ever met because he was not only a war hero, but remember, uh, he had been our first envoy sent by Richard Nixon to China. And when I went to the Olympics in, I guess it was 2008, in China at the bird's nest and all that, I remember talking to him about China. And you remember his son, uh, George W. Bush, spent a lot of time in China because his dad had been there as the envoy. Uh, and then, of course, he goes on and heads the CIA, the Republican National Committee, uh, vice president, having previously served as a congressman, uh, and then president of the United States. I don't think we see, if you look at it in historical terms, anybody with that level of public service, commitment, experience, and as I said to you, the greatest measure would be uh, his personal connection to people, especially Republicans across the country, people in the party, hardworking to build party structure throughout. And uh, he really had that kind of personal connection, that kind of political connection uh, that I think is extraordinary in these times. Uh, people just loved him. And uh, one of the things that happened for me tonight as I heard about uh, President Bush's death is I just went to the wall, and I don't know if you can see this, but I, I brought with me a picture of a young version of me and a fairly young version of President Bush. And here we are on what was then Air Force Two, uh, traveling around the country, as I said, going to all kinds of picnics and festivals in order to uh, help Ronald Reagan uh, win re-election in 1984. And then recently, uh, five years ago, I sent him a note, and again, I say, you know, he was such a great note writer, and he sent me back a note. This one came from Maine, from Kenny Bunkport, and he, he wrote about remembering the good old days, traveling on Air Force Two, as he said, uh, and uh, just wrote some kind words to me. Uh, this was really very special to me. That's why it hangs on the walls in my home here in Washington. The other thing that strikes me is, uh, at this moment, is so emotional about him, is, uh, you know, he was one tremendous baseball player. He's captain of the Yale team. And uh, as you know, his son then went on to own the Rangers and all, but he's a big Houston Astros fan to, to the end. And uh, we would talk baseball. Now, he's a left-hander, Shannon, and Shannon, you know something about baseball. I know you're a baseball mm -hmm. fan. And George W. Bush was an astute I don't say this lightly. I'm not trying to, you know, celebrate him in some way that's unearned. But George W. Bush could tell you about major league players on a level that I don't think any other politician I've ever met could do. I don't think general managers could talk about baseball and baseball players with the depth of understanding of the game that George H. W. Bush had. Uh, so for me, it was like, you know, people would say, hey, you know, I'd come back from a trip with George H.W. Bush, 
and my wife would say, you know, oh, what's going on? How are you doing? And I would say, well, here's the latest on what we can expect from the Orioles and the Astros and the Yankees uh, from the very top of American political life. I, this guy was so extraordinary, such a statesman and such a friend. Uh, as you said, able to work across the aisle. We've heard from Brett and from Chris about his work with uh, Bill Clinton. But you should know that even uh, recently, you had Barack Obama going down to Houston and stopping in to visit. Uh, mm -hmm. And that kind of relationship, again, so extraordinary in these days of, you know, utterly polarized yeah. politics.